there, little chicken nuggets, and welcome back to the last episode of Cooking with Cooper. Roll the intro! <laughs> welcome to Grill TV! Hosted by Carl! Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to Cool TV! Can you believe it? The last episode of Cooking with Cooper. I can't believe it. We've learned so much over the past few weeks. How not to make a cake, what a spatula is, and that bananas and ketchup do not belong together. Now, if you remember, the only reason we started this cooking show is because my best friend Jada asked me if I knew how to look. <laughs> and in reality, she was asking me if I knew how to cook. <laughs> so I told her, yeah, and now I have to cook for a big event that's happening tonight. And at first, I'll admit, I was a bit scared. I've never cooked before this month, like ever. I've never even baked a marshmallow, my dude, let alone caramelize some cane sugar on a cream brulee. <laughs> But look at us now, all because you chose to subscribe to my cooking channel. Now my life is like forever changed. And I am personally so thankful for you, my dude. But if you could, let's keep this whole like not be able to cook thing between us, all right? <laughs> I mean, could you imagine Jada, my best friend, finding out that I had misled her for like four weeks, all because I didn't know how to cook? Oh, hi, Cooper. Oh, hi, Jada. How's it going? We're just uh, talking with our friends, not about anything in particular at all. <laughs> just chilling. Oh, that's nice. Anything important I should know? Um, nope, not at all. <laughs> nope, nope, not at all. Definitely nothing you need to worry about. <laughs> okay, so how are you doing, Cooper? I'm fine, totally fine. Nothing to worry about at all. Never been better, in fact. <laughs> the best ever. All right, I'll take your word for it. So, are you excited for the big party tonight? Am I ever? I've been like cooking like all month. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean all my life <laughs> for an event like tonight. I, I can't wait. Awesome. Well, listen, Cooper, I actually have some bad news. Bad news? Oh no, did my goldfish run away? No, James Pond is okay. It's about the party tonight. Oh, really? What about it? Well, the menu for all the food, well, it's changed. Wait, what? Ch change? Ch change how? I, it can't change. I'm sorry, Cooper, but look at the bright side. You've been cooking all your life. It won't be hard for you to come up with some new fun dishes, right? Right, Cooper? I've been working on that menu all month. It's the, the things I've been learning how to cook. I've been focusing on though. Are you kidding me? How can the menu change? Cooper, are you okay? Um, yeah, Cooper. oh, food, uh, dishes, Cooper. uh, yeah, recipes, uh, I can, I can change, oh my goodness. Chayda, I don't know how to cook. Huh? I lied, okay? Well, I... I didn't really lie. I, th I thought you asked me if I knew how to look. I didn't realize until way later that you said cook and not look. I just didn't mean to make you think I could cook, but I knew you were counting on me for the party. It was a mistake and I I didn't tell you and, I, and then it was too late and I don't know. I'm sorry, Jada. I'm sorry I ruined your party. Cooper. Yeah? I know. Huh? I know. I heard you talking about it earlier when you were talking to the kids. So let me get this straight. You lied to me about knowing how to cook so that you could save my party. Yeah, I'm terrible. I'm honestly super impressed with you. Impressed, why? Well, I guess you could have just told me the truth right away and I would have asked someone else to help me, but you worked really hard to get to know how to cook better. You did a great job, and it shows that you care about me. Wow, thanks, Chada. I'm glad you know the truth now, because I'm not going to lie, I was kind of scared of how my cooking was going to turn out. <laughs> Even though I tried to do everything right, the results of my cooking could have been, like, really, really bad. <laughs> well, I would say you're wrong, but I remember that one cake you made. But I wouldn't beat yourself up too much. There's only one person who can truly make sure that everything turns out perfect. Iron Man? What? 
No, God. Oh, yeah, duh. You see, there was a time in the Old Testament where God's people in Israel weren't really listening to God. Again? I know, I know. The people of Israel kept losing focus and this resulted in them being taken over by another nation. This nation controlled all the people and put every last one of them to work against their will. That's awful, but it makes sense, I guess, because I don't know about you guys, but I often find myself getting into trouble when I don't listen to what I'm supposed to be doing. You can say that again. Oh, okay. That's awful, but it makes sense, I guess, because- Cooper, that's just a saying. Oh, my bad, continue. Anyway, one day a prophet named Jeremiah shows up. Now, a prophet is someone who's like made out of cloth material and is like controlled with someone's hand, right? No, that's a puppet. I'm talking about a prophet. Someone who is picked by God and whose job is to share the message of God. Oh, that's a puppet. Okay, I got it. So Jeremiah is on the scene and he had warned God's people before about being disobedient, but they didn't listen. And now Jeremiah has been given another message from God. I bet they're in trouble. Jeremiah spoke these words to the nation in Israel and Jeremiah. In those days and at that time, I will make a righteous branch sprout from David's line. He will do what is just and right in the land. In those days, Judah will be saved and Jerusalem will live in safety. This is the name by which it will be called, the Lord our righteous savior. Wow, I'm gonna go ahead and pretend like I understood every word of that. <laughs> <laughs> well, Cooper, don't worry. I didn't get it either the first time I read it, but this message is an important one. Not only was it sent to Israel from God, but it was a promise. A promise? What did God promise them to get them out of being captives in a foreign land? Not in the way that you think. Huh? You see, this scripture was promising that the nation of Israel would be saved, that the person to save them would come from the family of King David, and this person was going to be known as the Lord our righteous savior. The Lord our righteous savior? Huh, why does that name sound familiar? I know I've heard it somewhere, maybe at bingo night? in third grade science class. Wait, Jeremiah isn't talking about Jesus, is he? He certainly was. Whoa. God knew that the people of Israel may be in trouble then, but the end result would be Jesus coming to earth to save not just them, but all of us from our bad choices. You see, no matter how bad things may get or how terrible they may seem, we can rest assured that God knows everything we're going through and is always there to help us. Wow, I guess I shouldn't worry about how my life will turn out or what I'm gonna eat tomorrow. I should just trust that God is in control and God will take care of us. Exactly, after we do everything we can do on our end, we have to leave the rest up to God. Wow, oh wow, what an incredible lesson to learn about how God is taking care of us. But I'm not sure if I know the big idea. Wait a minute, I know where it is. Hey Cooper. Huh? Can I have it please? Have what? Oh, you mean the super duper recipe book for all things good? Yeah, that's it. Alrighty, here you go. Ah yes, here it is. Okay, so so far we had step one, trust God. Step two, talk to God. Step three, listen to God. And aha, there it is. Today's big idea, step four, leave the results to God. So let's say it out loud on the count of three. One, two, three, step four, leave the results to God. Great job, everybody. Well, kids, I can't thank you enough for watching Cooking with Cooper for the past few weeks. I think I'm gonna take a break from cooking for now and I'm gonna kind of transition into, wait a minute, <laughs> one sec. Cooper, how you doing? Oh, Carl, <laughs> pretty good, man. Listen, I need you to come back, okay? Because things got real weird while you were gone. I burned a pancake and I ate ketchup and bananas and that is not okay, my dude. <laughs> All right, well, I'm on my way back. I got uh, kicked out of the resort because supposedly my feet were, uh, the smell was too uh, hazardous, whatever. Oh. All right, see you next week, kids. All righty, see you, kids. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Pro TV.